the movie exporter. Again, doing the save as thing really works. Great for getting things into iMovie and Final Cut and such. But there's a much quicker way to do it now. If I choose export, reference movie exporter, I can export any selected instances or rows of instances as a reference movie straight up. So I'm going to choose a new folder and I'll call it refs. I'll create it and I'll export these selected instances. Very, very, very quick. Now the fun thing is that we take the name of the row name here and then we put the instance number, right? And everything in this is separated by an underscore. So that's what we call a delimiter in this. And then we pass in all of the um, labels that are in there. So you get a tremendous amount of data just in the file name itself. So again, if you're using Automator or some scripting on top of this, you can get a lot of information about the instance just from its name. And you can delimit that or you can cut that name up using that underscore. That is unless you've used an underscore in the label name. And we always try to tell people, don't use crazy characters in label names. Just keep, keep them straight up. But you'll see here that you also have the group which is separated by the greater than and you may run into issues if you move these over to Windows because it doesn't like to use greater than symbols traditionally so just note that a very cool and quick way to get reference movies out uh, into another application such as iMovie or Final Cut